Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Gemini. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with every Gemini and it will not resonate with every Gemini cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I am not offering personal readings at this time, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to the description box. To the description box, you can find the links in the description box. Goodness. Gemini. What does my Gemini collective need to know? What's the current situation for my Gemini collective? One more shuffle. We have Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and King of Wands. Eight of Cups in Reverse. All right, so we have Fire here. We have Aries, Leo, Sag. A little bit of Cancer energy here. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody's wish fulfillment's about to manifest here. Or there's some type of communication that's coming in that's going to make somebody very happy, very thrilled. Somebody wants to give something to you. It could be a fire sign. Somebody wants to give to you. They want to have balance with you. Equal give and take. And maybe this is what you guys have been wanting is for this, you know, for somebody to reciprocate, to balance things out with you. And I see that communication coming in. Somebody that walked away from you possibly is going to be returning here. Yeah. With a stable offer this time. An offer of, of a relationship of commitment. But, um... You guys may be feeling this manifesting or this coming in for you as well. But why do I feel like you guys are emotionally cut off to this? You guys have been healing and you guys are no longer emotionally invested in this person or this situation. So why are they happy that this is coming in? It's like somebody's made a decision that they want long term with you. They want to marry you. They want to be in a commitment with you. They want to live with you. They want all that. But it may be a little bit too late. All right. It may be a little bit too late. It's like they want to rebuild this relationship. Things could have ended pretty badly between you and this person. So tell me where my um, Gemini stand. Where do my Gemini stand? We have strength. You guys are trying to be strong. I just heard know your worth. Mm, you guys would be trying to work up the... Let's see. Here. You guys have been trying to hold back from communicating with this person and focus on yourselves. It's like you guys have been like, no, I deserve better. I'm a divine femme. I'm a divine masculine. They need to rise up and meet me at my level. So you guys have been really trying to stay strong and not reach out to this person and focus on yourselves. That's what I'm seeing here. This person somebody have to come in and reveal their feelings to you. They had to make a decision between possibly you and another person or you and another path. And they have made a decision now. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Ooh, they could have made the wrong decision in the past. They chose the wrong person over you. They chose. They should have chose you, but they chose somebody else. Yeah, what's going on with this person? Queen of Wands. Definitely could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. They're coming in with a love offer here, but they're like in the process of also moving on from something else. They may also be trying to travel to you. They may need to travel to you, but they're looking at things differently here and they're moving away from something. Yeah, whatever was an obstacle or a blockage. They could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and they were dealing with a, a fire sign, okay? And that situation was exhausting them. It was depleting them. They were tired of it. They were fed up. I see them finally moving on from that, looking at things differently and moving on finally. All right. So. 
Spirit, what else do they need to know? Divine union. You left every part of me untouched. I realize now who you are. Only you. I'm not seeing anyone else if that's what you're wondering. Okay, they're very much focused on you, but don't force it. Yeah, do not be the first one to take action towards this person. Erased. I deleted everything that reminded me of you. Okay, so let's not do the same thing. Stalking you. <laughs> this person has tried to move on from you, but they can't stop watching you. They can't stop keeping tabs on you. I often check on your social media to see what you're up to. We have unintentional. I never meant to hurt you. I'm not who you think I am. Mm, I don't know about that. But we have secret love. They were trying to keep their feelings in this connection a secret. I've kept my love for you a secret. It's time. It's too complicated to explain. No, it's not. <laughs> Telepathic. I close my eyes and speak to you in a hundred silent ways so you and this person could have an energetic connection. Okay? You could feel them. They feel you. You could communicate to them um, in that way or then they can also do that with you. One more card undecided they haven't made i do see a decision being made possibly between like i said two people or two situations but they haven't made it yet but this person is going to choose you says honestly i don't know what i want i'm not sure if i want a relationship for some of you it's that they're they're trying to decide if they want to be with you or stay single um but i do see they're going to choose you it says when i think about you when, when i think about my future i see you okay so let's take a look at um their energies versus your energies okay All right, tell me about this person's energies. We have PDA. So this could be a very affectionate person when they're with you. They can't keep their hands off you. They maybe like do little like uh, gift you little things. They like to hold your hand in public. We have committed. In it for the long haul. Working through conflicts, not easily giving up. Yeah, they want commitment with you. We have oneness. Emotionally vulnerable, acknowledging emotions, taking risks in love. And then one more. We have, ooh, and the, the, the sex is off the chain or the off the chain <laughs> uh, is uh, the the uh, passion is very intense here. All right, guys, I feel like this person's in love with you. It's not looking bad, but we have frustration. Frust frustration. They're, they're a little bit frustrated because they feel like they know it's going to take a lot of work to make this relationship work. Or they know they're going to have to sacrifice something pretty big for you guys to be on the same page or to meet you halfway. And that kind of is frustrating for them. But I feel like they feel like you're worth it. Because it said here, taking risks and love. Yeah. So where do my Gemini stand here? Selfish. You want this person to kind of maybe make you more of a priority. You kind of feel like this person's a bit selfish. Like they always want things their way. They don't meet you halfway. You feel like they're very inconsistent. You're sick of the drama. You feel like there's more bad than good here. We have curiosity. It's like you want to get to know this person on a deeper level for them to really listen to you and take interest in you. We have happiness. It's like this person does bring you peace and happiness when you guys are good and you are together. That's what, or this is the energy you want for this relationship to take. Feeling peaceful and complete, more ups than downs. Love brings happiness. And then we have extra effort. Yeah, you want this person to go out of their way for you or do more for you. Be there for you in the same way that you're there for them. Put your happiness and put you make you a priority in their life. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, so let's get some advice. We have goddess. I want to tell you this card has probably come out for everybody I've done today. Don't be afraid to be different. Allow your inner God or goddess to radiate. After you meet him or her, you'll never be the same. Honor the divine feminine or masculine. We have answer the call has come up for pretty much everyone too. When he calls, answer the call. Don't let pride keep your love broken when your heart wants to fix it. They might be worth a second chance. I feel like this person might be worth a second chance, guys. We have cold peace. It says, what do you, what exactly do you love about him? If he's treating you in a way that feels disres disrespectful, ask yourself what part of you allows this behavior to continue. And we have spotlight. 
You're about to be in the spotlight, whether it's your man only having eyes for you or your inner or your career finally taking off. Expect to get a lot of attention. So it's like, I'm seeing this energy. You wanted this person to make you more of a priority. Well, it's happening. All right. You want this person to be more focused on you. It's happening. Who had a reading like this? They're about to, who was it? All of a sudden, someone's fo focus shifts to you. It was, I can't remember who it was right now, but I did the reading yesterday. So you may want to look at the videos I uploaded yesterday and you guys could possibly be dealing with that sign because it was kind of similar to this. All right, let's get one card for timing. One card. What's the future looking like? We have an option. Oof. Not ready to commit, but they don't want to lose you either. They want to keep their options open. This person's not going to commit to you until next year. Just throwing that out there, guys. This person's not going to commit to you until next year or take things to the next level with you until next year. But Spirit says, it's okay to trust. You can trust them. They've learned their lessons and have changed. So when this person comes towards you, they're not coming towards you with bad intentions, but I don't, I feel like this person may commit to you. Like I do see commitment here, but when it, if it, this person, if you guys are wanting to get engaged or you're wanting to get married to this person or move in with this person, I don't see it happening until next year. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. I am not offering personal readings, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links in the description box. But other than that, um, what was I going to say? Other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.